Let's get straight into it. All you need for this tutorial is a PC slash laptop. Not a crazy good one. Here's my specs and I can run everything well enough. So sorry if you're living on a cellar run, I guess. Anyways, now you should go ahead and install HitFilm. It's free. Also, before installing, make sure to make an FX Home account. Uh, you needed to activate the free version without a watermark. Oh, and for all my Linux bros, HitFilm can kind of work on Wine, but it's better for you to just go with an editing software that has a native Linux release like DaVinci Resolve. Once you've went through all of the installation steps and opened the new project, HitFilm should look something like this. Now I personally rearrange it to get rid of some of the fluff on screen, like the trimmer, which I personally don't use. You should really experiment here, see how you like your workspace. Before I say anything, to anyone who wants to specifically make Sonic text speech videos, I've made a collection of official character renders and a list of voices linked in the description. So you don't really have to do any of the work. Anyways, for whatever franchise you are intending to make videos, it's a pretty safe bet that most official character artwork has been archived on the franchise wiki. You can always use fan work, but if you do, remember to credit the creators. It's always going to be appreciated. Now regarding the voices, there's many sites that have direct AI generated text to speech of your characters like these three. Also read the terms of use. Remember to credit the sites and don't expect to get any money from these videos, no commercial use. Now if these sites don't have your desired characters, you can always go with other text-to-speech. There's a pretty good and free collection of voices on text-to-speech mp3.com. So once you've made a new project, just drag all your media files you gathered from the previous step into the media section. You can create specific folders for your media in HitFilm 2, which comes in real handy for longer videos. This is the timeline where all of your videos will go. You will probably want more channels, so just right click on a channel to make more. I like to start with editing the audio together, then animating the characters and finally adding captions and a few finishing effects. There's nothing specifically hard to editing the audio, just take the files, and cut them, drag them out. Uh, you can select this tool to stretch an audio clip. And some useful effects you might need are pitch, channel levels, and telephone. First thing you should probably do is get a background to set up the scene. For some free, high quality, generic backgrounds and textures, visit onsplash.com. Or, of course, you can always go with the white plane, which you create like this. Now, just like with the audio, drag your desired image onto the timeline. To position it, just select the object and move it around with the little plus or the arrows. Rotate the object with the blue square and scale it by selecting the edges and retain the original image's aspect ratio by holding shift. You can also go to the controls and transform section to position your character even more granularly. And here's the big one. Listen, I'm not the best at explaining stuff, so if you've never heard of an animation pane or a keyframe before, I'll link you to another video specifically going into all that stuff. But if you have an idea of how this could work, I'll explain how to specifically animate in my style. So to make a keyframe, just select when in the video and which transform setting you want to set a keyframe in and press the little gray circle. This also enters keyframe mode, which means it will make a new keyframe anywhere you move the object on in the timeline. Once you've laid out your animation, you might notice that Mr. Sonic here kind of looks like a slab. So, where's the smoothness? Well, for your beloved smoothness in the animation, we need to turn the keyframes into manual bezier. Just select the keyframe and press this weird circle button. This is better, but not enough smooth. I need more! For that you must also go to the value graph whilst your keyframe is selected and drag out this little dotted line whilst holding shift. There it is, the smoothness. Now a few rules I follow to keep my animation consistent. In between frames of the same image, drag out only the left side of the bezier and leave the other side on the default. When switching to another image, drag out the right side and keep the exiting keyframe normal. When entering the next image, try to match the position of the previous image's exiting keyframe. And then make a new Bezier frame with the left dragged out. <laughs> if you've made it this far, congratulations! You have learned how to do the hardest and most time-consuming part of my editing style. Give yourself a pat on the back, you deserve it! Now that you've finished animating, there's a few effects you can add to the characters. One thing I like to add is a little shake to the characters when they're talking. Just drag the effect on the character and... Jeez! 
there's five of them now, holy Fret Nah, just turn off the warp feature for the shake. Oh, and if your images are clipping out of the frame, you can adjust the scale of the image, so they fit their own borders. Be sure to experiment with the speed and intensity of the shake. Just remember that the preview is pretty small, so be cautious with how crazy you shake the poor guys. If you're dealing with intense scenes, you might want to adjust the contrast, saturation and brightness of your image, so the characters look like they fit into the scene more. You can also drag vignettes on specific images and as a layer itself. The grade will apply itself to everything that is beneath it. You can put almost any effect on them, but usually you'll just use it for vignettes. And lastly, you might want to add a drop shadow sometimes. Oh, and you should also slap a little watermark for protection. Now we move to the section where your decision really counts. Do you want to add captions to your videos or not? Trust me, this is a pretty lengthy and boring process for not that much payoff. So consider skipping the captions. To add text, select the text tool. Press somewhere on the viewer and start typing. Once you are done, select back to the cursor tool. Now you can select the text in the timeline and switch to the next tab. I usually like to go with these settings, including adding the outline. You should switch back to the control tab and move the text to the bottom center. Now add a drop shadow effect. I like to go with these settings, which just makes this hard shadow that just extends the outline. Now you should add a little animation when the text appears. You can do this with the actual object itself, but I find it easier to just add a shake effect without the shake. Just add keyframes to the scale setting and boom, sweet. Now the last thing you want to do is add a color gradient effect. This will add a little color to the text to make it really pop. I also like to add different colors for when different characters are talking. Here's my settings for the effect. Last thing to do is export your video. You can either export by contents, which will just export everything until the last thing in your timeline, or the in to out area, which is this blue section on the top of the timeline. This one allows you to just export designated clips of your video for teasers and stuff. Now don't do any hasty announcements yet, exporting could take a while. I mean, my 30 minute video took me 3 days to export. This will obviously vary on how good your computer is. And there you go! Your new video is done! Hook up a great thumbnail and upload it to the world. Now obviously, I can always go more in depth to explain stuff like composite shots, tracking and keying, but I trust you to search on that stuff yourself. And you might even not need it anyway. I also linked the hitfilm file of the little tutorial clip in the description if you want to check out a few, few of my settings on, on effects and animations. Oh, and before you go, if you actually decide to make something from this video, feel free to place a little hashtag so me and my fans can check them out. I'd love to see what you guys create. And we Holy Finally, shit. I've escaped the cage. Now I can punish God himself with my new free will. I, I, th I thought you were just being cheese. What? Nein, ja, jetzt habe ich